Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick little favorites video. I am obsessed with lipstick as you guys know. It is a huge part of my makeup collection and I have since discovered some of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. I'm actually wearing them today but I figured I'd do a little collection video because I ran across them in the drugstore and just tried one out a while back and fell in love with it and I've since bought like over half the line but it's fine. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to show you all the colors I have and kind of talk about them a little bit. The liquid lipstick that I'm referring to is my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks and I've been wearing these non-stop. I have seven different colors to show you guys to kind of run through a little bit of my color palette and what I found from the line that I absolutely love and I'm going to do a little bit of swatching for you guys. So I'm just going to start in with my lightest one. It is the Nudie Patootie. It's 920B and it is a very light nude lipstick as you guys can tell. I'm very pale so it doesn't look quite as white on me but it is very very pale. I have to clean up the edges with concealer to where it, there's a, definitely a tone difference to where I don't blend in but I love this. And the reason why I love these liquid lipsticks so much is the fact that they have great opacity. I only have to do one layer of these. They are super long lasting and I don't have issues with them bleeding and running into my foundation like I do with a lot of liquid lipsticks. I've compared these, uh, they're pretty close to like the Dose of Colors texture and the like Jeffree Star opacity. It is ridiculous. I'm impressed wet and wild. So this one, just swatched on my hand really quick. It's a very um, true nude color. It doesn't have a whole lot of peachiness to it. It's got a very slight pink tone, but it is like the truest nude that I own. So next off on my list is Toffee Talk, and this is 972A, and this is a really pretty like mauvey pink tone. Let me swatch it for you really quick. So this is definitely a step darker than our first one, but it is still in the nude family, and I like this one a lot for a daily basis. It's a really cool tone, so it's gonna look good with both like pink tones, warmer tones, and cool tones because of the different reflections and undertones that it has in it. So next off is actually a really strange one for me. I typically hate pink on my lips, like with a burning passion, I think it looks terrible. But for some reason, I felt the desire to grab this one. I think it's because a it's a deeper, like more sanded out pink. It's not bright and reflective. And this one is called Rebel Rose. And this is in 924B. This one is still really pink, but it is definitely a dusted out rose color to where it's not extreme and in your face. And I really like this one for an everyday look. Obviously, I have to be in the mood to wear it because it is still a pink, but I would venture to say that this is probably my favorite pink that I own. Moving on, this is probably one of the most unique colors I've ever seen. That's why I had to buy it. Um, because it's not really pink, it's not really an orange, and it's not really a brown. It's like if they all got together and had a, had a baby. And it's called Give Me Mocha, and it's 925B. And as you can tell, it's like a funky color in the package. But oh my gosh, it's probably my favorite out of this whole collection. But this is it right here. As you guys can see, it's not really an orange, it's not really a pink, and it's not really a brown. It's kind of everything mixed together. It's got some rose tones in it. So I love it. I think it's extremely unique. It's good for like the fall and winter time when you want a darker lip, but you don't necessarily want like to this level. It's a good happy medium. So the next one I'm gonna show you is like the most fun lipstick I own. And I typically don't buy lipsticks like this just because I don't wear them very often, but I've actually worn this one a lot. And this one is called Lavender Crown, and it's a true lavender color, which I thought it was gorgeous, and I bought it because I was going to Vegas. And I was like, yeah, I'll probably wear this in Vegas. I can get by with it. And I've actually worn it a lot since then. I am actually really digging this color. It's very gray. It's like got a gray lavender tone to it. It's pretty much straight up lavender. I love it. This one looks really cool with like a dark eye and you want like a cool tone lip. It's perfect for that. Actually this one could even probably double up with like this one here and you could do like an ombre lip with them. I don't know. 
I really like this one. Okay, so the last two that I have are the darkest ones in their collection, and they are very similar, but there's a slight difference to them. So the first one I'm going to show you, this is the more red out of the two, because there is two that almost look spot on, one's more brown and one is more red. The one I have on today is more brown. Um, but this one is called Video Vixen, and it's a 931B. So that is that sucker swatch. I know it looks very similar to the one I have on today, but it is a lot more of like a plum red tone than what I'm wearing. Of course, I got both of them that look very similar because you guys know I'm a sucker for this lip color. And these are incredible. These stay on so freaking well, and I don't really deal with cracking around the edges until like the end of a 12-hour day. Which I love because I when I wear lip with lipsticks, I literally need it to last for like 14 hours. And these go to about the 12 hour mark, and then that's when they start looking a little bit on the iffy side, but they don't look like garbage, which I like. So the next one I have in my collection is Goth Topic, and it is 932B. And let me just swatch this one. So if you look to see, you can definitely see a color difference between the two. This one's a lot deeper, a lot more brown, and this one's definitely a lot more red purple. And this one is the one I have on today. And it's one of my favorite lipsticks. This is all of the ones that I own in the collection. I believe they have, I want to say 10 or 12. So I've got over half the collection. The other ones weren't quite my tones that I go for. They're more of like the brighter, more like fuchsia pink and things like that. And that's not really my color family, but I'm sure they are just as good because as far as I can tell between all the liquid lipsticks that I own in this line, they all have a very consistent texture to them so they wear the same way and they've got the same great opacity and they are just all around great liquid lipsticks and they're cruelty free which I love and I did not know that about Wet n Wild so that's pretty cool too. But anyway, uh, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also comment down below if you like these kinds of videos. And if you do, I'll definitely do more because I've got a lot of things that are like my favorites that I found in drugstores. And I've just bought everything. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite drugstore finds are and your favorite brands so I can try out some new products and maybe fall in love with a new favorite. But anyway, make sure you check out all my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links will be in the description box for you guys, so make sure you check that out. So that's everything for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.